Hey guys, in this video I'll go over the uh, Slim Bean ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S3 and I have the AT&T version with me here and uh, basically this ROM is a custom AOSP uh, based uh, operating system for your uh, phone and it has taken um, features from CM10 uh, as well as AOKP and many other uh, ROMs so First things first, you can notice uh, on the lock screen the uh, Slim Bean uh, logo for unlocking your device. So other than that, I mean everything looks exactly the same as you expect for the ASP based ROM. So you can notice the overall uh, interface of the ROM. Uh, it's a bit smaller. Um, I mean uh, the uh, sizes of the icons and the text. That's because this ROM uses a lower DPI setting uh, just to you know make sure that everything uh, looks tiny a little bit tiny than usual and uh, I haven't noticed any sort of other difference other than just lowering the DPI um, in terms of interface uh, so let me just focus it a little bit and I mean that's half of uh, you know seven dock icons uh, on my phone and the icons are smaller uh, as well so that's one major feature I mean uh, lower DPI settings overall so you'll be able to see more content on the screen so yeah under the system settings under the about phone uh, you can see that others operating system is based off the 4.1.2 that is the latest version as of date and uh, yeah the slim version is 2.7 uh, and um, yeah, that's uh, that's the version, and uh, this ROM is slim, and it really means that it's slim, uh, slim down operating system because it's only 86 MB compared to the other operating systems, which are around 200 MB on average. Uh, say whether it's the Cyanogen Mod Nightly or whether it's the uh, AOKB build. So, yeah, that's uh, how slim it is. I mean, it's very light and um, yeah I have three home screens set up I have my widgets as well uh, that's the YouTube widget and um, overall uh, the ROM interface looks pretty good I mean I'm I don't have any uh, obligations towards this lower DPI setting it's not making anything different uh, other than you know making uh, more room on your screen uh, that thing you can see on the apps as well so on the YouTube app, you would now be able to see more channels uh, on your left side. And, uh, yeah, more content. Nothing has been changed in terms of the apps. Uh, just get more content. Uh, you can also see that in the email. You would get more e mails uh, displayed on a single page. So that's the main advantage of the lower DPI setting, in my opinion. Mm, yeah. So... Let's take a look at uh, the notification center as well. You would uh, see the uh, smaller DPI uh, setting and the lower um, in the notification center as well. I mean, you would be able to see more notifications on the screen as you would suppose to uh, on the normal setting. So let's see what all options have been included for this ROM. So you can see the device options first. Let's go under the device options. You would basically get uh, all the basic device options like the calibration data and all in device options. And coming to the interface, this is where you know um, the entire customization happens uh, regarding the ROM. Uh, so everything would be under this interface. First is the general UI, uh, which would enable the kill all button. And also you can set the custom carrier label there. You also have ability to set custom power menu, uh, like the screenshot and all. And uh, under the status bar, you have various options of customizing the status bar, like changing the uh, signal indicator, changing the battery indicator, changing the battery style, changing the clock style, and various other options. So, yeah. Um, these options are, I mean, you would see uh, normally in any OSP style based ROM nowadays. So, yeah, 
uh, those are the um, basic options what you would see under the status bar and in the na notification drawer you now have uh, or you have the power widget and you have widget order uh, of the power widget you also have other options in going to the navigation bar as you would expect you also have the ability to an enable the navigation bar which would uh, have the soft keys on the screen at all time if you enable the navigation bar and uh, you do have navigation bar ring I haven't uh, used it yet you do have the hardware keys uh, wherein you can assign custom actions to the uh, hardware keys you also have lock screen uh, option wherein you can change the background you can change targets on the lock screen and you also can change the you know uh, the layout of apps at the lock screen which is a new feature which I haven't seen in any other ROMs so that's one other feature and uh, you do have the vibrate which I really like you can disable the vibrate on the lock screen that's one good feature and uh, yeah when I go under custom targets for the lock screen uh, yeah this is sort of weird I mean instead of that being in the center it's shifted to the right a little bit I don't know maybe a problem with the lower DPI settings so yeah that's weird so basic all uh, lock screen options are under this lock screen setting you also have the option for adding weather and calendar to your lock screen and the normal sound option the volume panel whether to uh, enable the volume panel the extended volume panel or not so that's there and what else and finally you do have the display related options uh, where you can control the rotation of the device also the notification light and uh, the automatic backlight setting as well so those are uh, the basic settings what you would expect for the uh, ROM there's one other thing I would like to show is how easily the uh, device um, you know just uh, orients itself when in the landscape mode I think this is a feature more of the launcher which comes with this ROM that is the hollow launcher pretty neat I mean I haven't seen this sort of correctness when this been in landscape mode usually some things are missing when you put a device in landscape mode but right now it's working perfect maybe it's because of the lower DPI settings of the ROM and you can also see uh, my uh, the hollow launcher settings what I've currently uh, put I have changed the drawer settings I changed the dock settings as well I've changed the number of dock icons to 7 so that you know I have um, all the icons on screen and you can also notice that you know my app drawer looks uh, a bit different because I've set the uh, I've increased the number of icons per grid and yeah so uh, I have 5 by 6 arrangement um, as you can notice and uh, yeah and few other things is like this ROM comes with a file manager which is a really good thing because this doesn't usually uh, come in uh, IOKP or the CM10 based uh, ROM mm, you usually have to download uh, another ES Explorer or something uh, so that's one good thing and coming to the music app I don't know which version of the music app this is this is like the oldest version I guess because right now it's play music on all the other apps they also come with the Apollo so this is something new and um, which has a pretty basic interface and uh, you also get the OTA updater for this ROM uh, which is a good thing so that is I guess all the features uh, which are present for this ROM um, most of all I mean this ROM is pretty smooth I have tested it out um, and uh, definitely this ROM I would like to give a thumbs up because of the uh, you know fluidity of the ROM because of the slimness of the ROM um, slimness and me I mean uh, the lightness of the ROM and uh, yeah overall I really like this ROM I would definitely recommend it as a daily driver so guys that's it for this video if you like the video please rate it give it give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next video